Welcome to Joe's Corner. I wanted to read this most ridiculous article that the Manila Times posted. I mean, it, it is uh, probably the, uh, wow, the most extreme pro-Chinese article I've ever seen. But there's one particular part that I almost choked on. So let's go ahead and read it, right? Self-governance enables the CPC to lead China on a new journey towards rejuvenation. Beijing. How to maintain the vigor and vitality of the Communist Party, the world's largest Marxist governing party with 90 filling, 95 million members. At the recently ended annual session of China's National Legislature, President Winnie the Pooh, also General Secretary CPCC Chairman, full and rigorous self-governance of the party saying it is a path that must be taken, right? The advanced nature of the Marxist party is not given, but they're rather cultivated through constant self-reform. This is the part that I'm laughing at the most because I can't believe they even printed this. The CPC has proven that it is great, not because it never makes mistakes. Oh my Lord, when I first read that, because it never makes mistakes. There is millions of articles about the mistakes that they do make. Okay, let's keep reading. But because it always owns up to its errors, oh, believe me, this is, oh, man, you talk about self-taught and the courage to confront problems and reform itself. Okay, let's begin immediately with all the problems. During the outbreak, right, the Chinese government was literally nailing people in their own homes and apartments and not letting people leave. People were starving and there's no food. And when vendors tried to deliver food, the vendors' food trucks got smashed by the police. There's literally footage of people jumping out the windows trying to leave, trying to go to a better situation, right? That's just one. Then they got where there's poor communities where people are coming in, tearing up their homes because you really don't have a right to own property. Everything's owned by the CCP. They've literally killed people protecting their own land, right? And not to mention, the most ridiculous part of all this is the fact that they say they never make mistakes. Why would you say that about the CCP? They take over the South Mongolian people. They won't allow them to preach their own culture. Won't allow them to speak their own language. They banned it. They beat people to death over in that side of the sector. They tore down all the Christian churches, all the other churches. You're not even allowed to worship anymore. And if you do want to have a church, you got to have a picture of Chi up, not Jesus or any other form. They're hard on Buddhists. They got rid of all the Buddha statue, all the Tibetan statues. They come in the Philippines. They build up on their islands. That wasn't their property. They fished out all their waters. They polluted all their seas. The government is very corrupt. But to sit there and tout, toot your own horn and for Manila Times Apprentice, oh my lord, right? So after, let's keep reading. After the 18th CPC National Congress sweeping anti-corruption campaign was launched, a clear message was sent to everyone within the party, ship up or ship out as corrupt high-ranking tigers and low-level fire were, were both targeted. And by the way, if you even try to report corruption in in China, another problem they got, you are severely at risk, not just your life, but your family's life also. You don't have a freedom of speech. You don't have a freedom of religion. You don't have a freedom to protest. Matter of fact, most of the people that do protest is their own military because they can't find jobs when they get out. Their own veterans. They hate the Chinese government more than anybody, right? So, despite the progress, the party is soberly clear to that corruption is still the biggest risk to the governments, but I just thought, by the way, they said that they never make mistakes. It remains uphill battle pursuing full and strict sovereign governments as in this process, right? At a planetary session at CPC's top discipline agency held in January, a party pledged to stay tough on those who have punchant or forming cliques that the interest group strengthen education and supervision and blah, blah, blah. China's success hinges on the party as long as constant efforts are made. But that one part that day, Manila Times wrote, the most interesting is that they never make mistakes. Why would you? Why would you even write that? Oh my God! Prove this great, not because it never makes mistakes, but because it always owns. You are Manila Times. You are in a democratic country. Sometimes I think you guys forget that. You guys get to elect your leaders. China does not. They don't get to elect anybody over there. Matter of fact, the police have been so corrupt over there. That they have done bad things. Matter of fact, I probably find an article real quick on that. Give me one second here. Yeah, here's part of it, right? So, 
the police in northern Tibet, and I just ain't the only plant. There's been stories about college women being abducted, poor women being abducted by police, being raped and tortured. Because who are you going to report it to in China, especially if you're poor? If you report corruption, they come after you. They don't come after the one you're corrupting, right? So Chinese police torture Tibet women, nuns inside Tibet. That's what they do. They've been doing it for a long time. It just ain't this place. It's other places. Yeah, here's another article here. So apparently, there's all kinds of articles about this. Apparently, Chinese, during, when they were cracking down in Hong Kong a couple years ago here, they sent their own people in, right? They sent their own people in, and they disguised themselves as police. But they took advantage of it, and they started raping some of the women they were arresting. One girl had to leave. She had to flee. So when she reported it back to the police, the police said, no, you know, we're not going to do this. So they put a warrant out on her. But the Communist Party, according to Manila Times, they don't make mistakes. They don't make mistakes at all, right? Here's another story. Millions of them. China destroys, destroys churches. But they don't make no mistakes. Churches are more bothering them. You're supposed to have a freedom religion in China, but they got rid of that under Chi because he's so afraid of Jesus. He doesn't want to see the symbol. He doesn't like the idea that he's not going to go where he thinks he's going to go. But according to Manila Times, right? China doesn't make any mistakes. I can't believe they even wrote that. I really can't, right? See, here's one of the articles I was talking about. So, when I was saying that they literally lock you up, that's what they do. So, locked up Chinese city, evicts 1,000 people, takes them to the quarantine facilities, right? They get rid of them. So, a closed off city, uh, closed off city in China, evict 1,000 people from homes at midnight and takes them to the grim quarantine facilities. 13 million residents have been confined to their homes since December 23rd. Not allowed to go out for food and essentials. Have they had to rely on local officials to deliver care packages, which they're not. The Popper Tours Hub, the Terracotta Warriors reported 1,600 cases since the 9th, but zero COVID strategy. So they lock you up. You're not allowed to go to work. You're not allowed to make money. You can't pay your rent. The people can't come by and collect their rent. They're really not feeding you. You got to rely on that government, but you know, according to them, there's no mistakes being made, right? When we go all the way back to that article about how the CCP has proved it's great, I just don't understand why the Manila Times is trying to invoke a communist manifesto, communist attitude on the Philippine people. Why is the Manila Times, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to red tag you. You're a communist. The Manila Times is not Manila Times, it is pure. Chinese times. That's what they are. How are you going to call yourself the middle of times, but you write more articles on China than anybody around? Matter of fact, we can even look today and see what they wrote. These are just some of the articles that came out today, just now. I just clicked on it, right? So we're going to count how many articles the Manila Times wrote about China. And just a, a few. China City in Lockdown. There's one. Manila Times. Offered Chinese draw more investments. Manila Times. Let's keep going here. The case against uh, Spears of Influence, which is something that they do, right? So, yeah, we've looked at two Chinese articles by Manila Times and one Filipino so far. Ukraine troops near Kiev suburb. So, let's see, three, three to two, China sends clear signals of strength and growth. I mean, come on now, Manila Times. You're clearly working for the CCP. I'm sorry, but you are. I don't care anymore. I don't care if you get mad at me. I don't care what you do. But you clearly are working for the CCP. To sit there and say the CCP is perfect in every damn way is sick. Manila Times, you are sick, disgusting individuals. If you love the CCP so much, get the hell out of the Philippines and move there.